Hey all you Facebook and YouTube users out there, welcome back to Cooking and Canning with Michael. I am Michael and uh, today we've got a couple projects that we're going uh, that we're going to do. Uh, I have some rice cooking in the rice cooker. I am going to make uh, uh, I'm gonna make some stuffed green peppers today for uh, I don't know every once in a while I get a craving for stuffed green pepper and uh, I'm going to take one for lunch tomorrow and I'll probably freeze the others uh, for later use but uh, just wanted to share that with you uh, and we're going to be making for dinner tonight some homemade Mongolian beef and I'm really excited about that uh, lately I've been buying in the store you can get these P.F. Chang, which is a restaurant chain out here on the West. I don't know if it's nationwide or not. Um, but it, in the frozen food section, they do a, uh, they do a uh, Mongolian beef and they do a beef with broccoli. Both of those are relatively good. Uh, I tried the orange chicken. I was not impressed. To me, it kind of looked like McDonald's chicken nuggets. Uh, in an orange sauce with some vegetables so I wasn't impressed too much with that one but uh, Mongolian beef and the beef with broccoli are okay are okay if you're asking for my opinion which you're probably not but that's okay so today we're gonna make homemade Mongolian beef and we're going to uh, I'm gonna mix a couple recipes that I have uh, I have the recipe for P.F. Chang's copycat Mongolian beef, so I'm going to refer to that. But then I'm going to do the rest of it. I'm going to actually do the dish in a uh, in a slow cooker, so uh, they should cook up uh, really, really nice and tender. I'm going to use my my Power Quick Pot, aka Instant Pot, for that. And it says it's going to cook for about four or five hours. So we're going to get that on here in a bit. And I'll show you all the ingredients and how we're going to do it. And uh, we'll have a good time. All right. I'll be right back. Hey, you guys. Um, I'm prepping some ingredients. So, uh, but I wanted to, I wanted to talk to y'all for a bit here. Uh, I know that... Uh, you know, I don't have the prettiest kitchen, uh, the fanciest kitchen. Um, I have what would be considered a relatively small kitchen. It's larger than most apartment kitchens, uh, but it is what it is, and I do my best. Uh, I don't have all the fancy lighting and all the fancy cameras, uh, but you know what? Uh, I'm real. This is just me. This is my kitchen. It's real. It's it's uh, what it's like in re real life. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, please don't compare me to all the others out there who have bigger kitchens and and such. And uh, you know, my kitchen is big enough. I, I have a lot of kitchen gadgets. So my my little kitchen is really quite packed. Uh, full of gadgets and appliances and cooking utensils and uh, containers for flour, sugar, rice, etc. But I do the best that I can. And uh, don't, what I, I guess what I'm basically saying is don't necessarily rate the low quality of a video as no good because I feel that uh, what I have shared has been has been good and a lot of people have latched on and uh, anticipate the next videos it's still growing and uh, who knows as the channel continues to grow and I get more subscribers and and more uh, view time hours I can eventually uh, I can reach I can uh, eventually reach what is a stage known as monetization which is um, I can start making money a little bit of money on my channel and uh, helping it grow even more so I just wanted to share that with you 
and uh, hang with me as things progress and uh, and just remember that this is an Apollo show by no means um, this is real this is my real kitchen it's 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 not as big it's not as cl I'm sorry it's not as clean as what you see on the on the the rest of YouTube and on some of the TV shows but it's mine it's it's real so I just wanted to share that with you all right I'll be back okay y'all so we're getting ready to start on this Mongolian beef so I've got all my ingredients out and uh, I'm going to show you what we got here uh, oh I didn't chop up my onion or my green pepper so give me a moment I'll be right back okay so I'm back let me show you all the ingredients that we've got of course we've got the star ingredient beef the recipe called for some recipes call for flank steak or sirloin steak I'm using a chuck roast because I like the flavor and the tenderness of a chuck roast and I'll show you how I'm gonna slice that up here in a bit I have one cup, a very packed one cup of shredded carrots, green bell pepper, some onions sliced thinly. I have sesame seeds for garnishing. I have sesame oil for frying. I've got garlic. I've got some brown sugar. I've got some water and I've got some soy sauce. I am also going to be adding a little broccoli to my... Uh, to my uh, Mongolian beef so I have some extra vegetables and here I and here I have a bowl with some cornstarch and some baking soda in it I kind of just uh, whisk them together so they're well combined uh, of course the cornstarch is going to make for a crispy coating on the beef and the baking soda works with the beef to stop the proteins from breaking down so you don't end up with gray looking cooked meat so it should still look very good once it's cooked it'll also give the beef a nice velvety texture to it so i'm going to move some of these ingredients around and we're going to get started oh let me show you here's my uh here's my stuffed peppers that i made earlier today a little they need a little more tomato sauce on the top which i'm going to do and then we're going to freeze those um, I can, I'll include the recipe for the stuffed peppers down below. It's nothing fancy, folks. It's stuffed bell peppers, ground beef, rice, spices, tomato sauce. You know it. All right, so let's get busy on this, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so we're getting ready to slice this beef. I want us to cross... Uh, Slice the beef across the grain, not with the grain, because I want the beef to hold together. So I'm going to just start by slicing some, going to try to slice it. Oh, I don't know. Like maybe like that. I'd say, I don't know. Let me get a bowl for this. <clears throat> Ah, here we go. Pardon my mess, folks. The dishwasher is drying dishes right now, so I cannot load it. And uh, we'll get it cleaned up. We always do. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. All right, I'll be back when I've got this all sliced up. All right, so we got all the beef cut up. And uh, some of them I even did just a little bit thicker. Uh, just so we have some different types of texture. I'd say that's probably a quarter to half inch thick. Um, we want the meat to have some body to it 
So now I'm going to get me a spoon. And we're going to coat this meat in this cornstarch mixture. So I'm just going to pour that on there. We're going to try to get every piece of meat coated with some cornstarch baking soda. Uh, might be better to just do it with the hands. ingredients out there. This cornstarch will also help create a nice gravy in the uh, in the sauce. All right that's getting there. We still got a bunch of cornstarch at the bottom. Well, not a whole lot, but all right. So you'll see all the meat is now coated with some cornstarch. I'm going to rinse my hand off a bit here. I know, I know I didn't wash my hands, but this towel is going in the dirty clothes. Alrighty, so let's see what we're supposed to do now. Let me make room over here for my for my quick pot. I have all these cereals here. <laughs> You've probably seen this one on top of the fridge for the longest time, but. Uh, I'm going to make some uh, Chex Mix sometime. So I'm going to put those over here for now. And we're going to bring this over here. Oh, got to get rid of some stuff here. Oh, there are. Open that up. Now, let's see what it says to do. Place the beef in the slow cooker. Whoop, I need my insert. <laughs> This is almost done. Done enough. So, Alright, there's my insert. And we're going to throw this beef in here. There we go. Slice the onion and the peppers and place them in the slow cooker. Whisk together the water, soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic, sesame oil, and ginger. I need to chop up some ginger. Let's take a piece of ginger out of here. And I need two teaspoons of minced ginger. Uh, let me get a different knife. Uh, this one should do it. I'm just going to cut off a piece of ginger here. I'm going to try to peel it. Get the tough outer skin. Oh, nothing like the smell of ginger. Fresh ginger.
and it should be minced. Careful. There's one teaspoon. Yes, I'm guessing on the measurement. After all these years of cooking though, I can pretty much guess where I'm at. All right, let's bring these together. Let's bring them to the edge. should do. So I've got my ginger. I'm going to use this bowl that I had the uh, vegetables in. I'm going to put the ginger in there. soy sauce, the sesame oil, the brown sugar, and the garlic. I, I am doubling this recipe uh, because If I'm going to go through all of this work, I'm going to make enough to freeze. And you see me, what I do is I put the, uh, I put the food into these vacuum seal bags. I have a food saver machine and I vacuum seal them so I can put them in the freezer. And then when I'm ready to eat them, I'll take them out. And my, my quick pot over here has a setting for uh, sous vide, which means to cook in packaging or plastic or whatever in a sealed package. And you can put that in there in the water and the water will come up to temp and heat the package. So you're not, you're not cooking necessarily uh, this Mongolian beef again. You're just heating it up and bringing it to temperature. So that's that's kind of nice. That's what I like to do. Then all I have to do is make some rice and I'm all set. It doesn't say to add this, but we're going to do it. Oh, here's some peppers. All right, there we go. I'm going to get the cooker lid for it. to go slow cook beef and we are going to set the timer for four hours so let me go back slow cook beef that and I'm going to change the timer 
to four hours. Maybe we'll go five. There we go. And we'll check it at four. There we go. We add the carrots, the sesame seeds. I've got some green onions too I'm going to chop up uh, for garnish. And I'm going to throw the broccoli in at the last minute because I don't like my broccoli to cook to mush. So uh, we're going to wait on this to happen. I'm going to get this place cleaned up one more time. And we'll come back and we'll see what we've got as far as Mongolian beef. I've got to make some rice as well and I'm thinking brown rice. It'll be a little more healthier. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Well, folks, every once in a while you get a recipe that just doesn't work. You can't trust every recipe. I'm usually lucky that I choose good recipes, but this one, um, not working in my slow cooker. Uh, too much cornstarch, I think. It created too thick a gravy. It started burning on the bottom. Uh, I caught that. So uh, I had to add lots and lots of water and some more soy sauce uh, to it. And instead of slow cooking it, now I'm pressure cooking it, trying to get the meat done because everything else is pretty much done. But uh, yeah, every once in a while you get a bummer. And. Uh, I'll search and see if I can find a better recipe for you and uh, and post that and uh, we'll see we'll see what happens with we'll, we'll see how this tastes I've got my brown rice cooking ready to go and uh, oh well life is still beautiful we'll be back when this is done alrighty all right so we're letting the steam escape from the pressure cooker and we'll see what we have Built up a lot of pressure. Y'all ever have that happen? You try out a recipe and it just fails you. It just doesn't work. What are we going to do when we open this? I'm going to add the carrots. And the broccoli and we'll cook it. We'll just let it sit in the warm broth for a while. Just about done. That's a smell birch, so that's good. Just got to wait for the pin to lock, I mean, to unlock.
just about there. Alexa, add minced garlic to the shopping list. Minced garlic added to your shopping list. see what we got here. We're going to pull a piece of meat out so we can taste it. And see if it's done. And add my carrots. And my broccoli. good. Whether it is good or not is the question. The taste test. It's okay. It is okay. And I tell you what I'm going to do as well. If I can find them. Here they are. I like my Mongolian beef a little spicy. So I'm going to throw in some nice crushed red peppers. Not a whole lot, because we can always sprinkle some more on top if we want to. You're okay. Okay, folks. We're going to just let that sit and keep warm and that'll finish cooking the uh, finish cooking the vegetables and we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we've got that uh, on saute at 120 degrees and we'll let it go for about an hour. That way it's cooking but it's not boiling and uh, hopefully that'll tenderize the meat even a little more. Uh, the brown rice is starting to steam. You know, brown rice takes longer to cook than white rice because you have to cook through all that bran, the bran layer of the rice. That's that's a healthy part of. That's why brown brown rice is so so healthy. You're getting the bran and the fiber. White rice is great, but it's not. Uh, it really doesn't have much nutritional value other than starch. So, uh, anyway, we're going to wait for this all to get done, and then uh, we'll plate it, we'll taste it, and uh, we'll see if it needs any other ingredients, and uh, any other aromatics or spices or whatever, and uh, we'll plate it, we'll taste it, and then we'll go have dinner, and uh, we'll search for a good recipe for you to use rather than the one that I did. So it might work fine in a real crock pot. Uh, but uh, I don't know, not even then. I think there was just uh, too much cornstarch in that, uh, in the recipe. 
So you get too much. You know, I noticed there wasn't much liquid in the recipe. And uh, this seems strange to me. Even, oh well. Anyway, we'll be back in just a bit. All right, everybody, it is ready. It's done. Uh, while we were waiting, I ran down to Costco and got some gas. So I have gas for the next couple weeks. And uh, let's see what we've got here. First thing I want to do is taste the meat, of course. Uh, let me see if I can find something to get a piece of meat with. Let's just use a fork. Mm. Trying to find one of the more thicker ones. This will do. Mm. Get this one off the floor before somebody gets it. Wipe up the floor a little bit. Wipe this up. Wipe that up. Get this lid off. It's all going in the dishwasher anyway. All right, let's see what we got. It actually turned out pretty good, even with all the adjustments I had to make. So let's plate it, get a measuring cup so I make sure I get one cup of rice. And again, we're going to go generous. Maybe just a little more. I haven't, haven't ate much today. I had some, uh, I had some, uh, what did I eat today? I don't think I've ate today. Get some of the gravy. see any broccoli. There's a piece. Yep, there's a piece. Nope. That's it. I'm going to sprinkle some green onions on it and some sesame seeds. All right, let me show you what we got. There we go. Some good Mongolian beef served on some brown rice. Here, I'll show you what's in the pot. How this turned out. See that rich gravy? Ooh, there's a big piece of broccoli I want. Um, yeah, that's what we were 
it's what we were hoping to get. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and eat this and enjoy. It's actually pretty good. So I will say bon appetit. Remember that life is beautiful. And uh, subscribe, like, give a thumbs up, share. And uh, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, for cooking and canning with Michael. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, which I'm sure I'll have something to make. Alrighty, bye-bye.